guys, this is Raha at Hakim Dawar. He is a PhD candidate in civil engineering at Columbia University with a focus on hydrology and water management. She is going to speak with us about green roofs. Thank you so much for being here with us, Raha. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thanks. So, Raha, what exactly are green roofs? So, green roofs are a subset of what's called green infrastructure, which, I mean, what we normally think of as civil engineering infrastructure are like big pipes and drainage and um, sort of massive. Uh, massive uh, infrastructure, right? But um, green infrastructure is sort of trying to integrate the idea of um, natural landscapes in the city. And um, so a green roof is a layer of vegetation and soil that you can place on top of, um, whether it's an existing roof or, um, or a brand new roof of a new building. Uh, and they can be designed in different ways. They can be more engineered so that they're much thinner soil and it's um, not adding a lot of weight to buildings, which of course is an issue for existing buildings, especially in older cities like New York, you know, where not a lot of new construction is going up. Uh, and you can have a different type, which is more of a roof garden. Mm -hmm. And roof gardens are much heavier, so they add a lot of um, additional loading to your building. So either your building has to be designed for that, or um, you know you can retrofit your building to accommodate that. So basically, I think what most people think of when they hear green roofs are rooftop gardens, and that's one part of it. But you can also have these other more sort of heavy, you know more infrastructure type of green roofs um, that are mostly used to mitigate problems with stormwater. So, so to help us to manage the water in the city without the need for this big, heavy you know, pipes and drainage systems. Um, yeah. Can I ask you, why are they great for a city like New York? So, I mean, it, you can think of it in a lot of, from a lot of different perspectives. From one perspective, one of the big stormwater management challenges in New York City is a problem that we have with combined sewer complex. So our city system, the drainage system, were designed a long time ago. And the um, essentially the problem is that the amount of stormwater and sewage water that we have going into these pipes is um, overwhelming our system. So that, uh, so that um, when it rains really heavily, a lot of this water is stopped into water bodies around New York City. So for example, on the Hudson River or the Blanas Canal is a um, big, uh, sort of notorious for having this pollution from these combined sewer overflows. Yeah. And um, I mean, one way to combat that is to build new infrastructure. But that's really difficult in a city like New York, yeah. which is very urban, very, you know, there isn't a lot of space, it's expensive, you have to dig up the ground. Uh, and green roofs are sort of attractive because what we have plenty of is roof space. We don't have a lot of land area, but we have a lot of roof space, right? So it's estimated that almost, um, you know, over 50% of New York City is rooftop area. So that's a huge potential for um, implementing this kind of green infrastructure. Um, and, you know, it's a way to sort of manage water without without total reliance on the heavy infrastructure. So where do you see the future of green roofs headed? Um, I mean, I definitely think there's a lot of um, interest and investment into this kind of, uh, this kind of, it's a different way of thinking about the city. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely think that green infrastructure as a whole is going to become um, much more typical okay. in cities, and especially in urban cities. And um, there are a number of challenges that come with that in terms of, for one, as far as I'm concerned from the science and research side, we need to figure out what exactly they're going to do and how much of a contribution they're going to have. So um, this is a short talk, so I'm not able to really fully explain all of everything that goes into that. And if anyone has any questions, I would be happy to explain more. But, um, I sort of glazed over something without explaining it fully. Please um, comment or let me know. But um, 
I mean, yeah. So I think that green, green will definitely have a place. But, but yeah, we first need to figure out what exactly they're doing, and then we need to figure out some kind of cost structure or some, you know, a, an implementation plan. Okay. And I think that this is just my opinion. That that's going to come in large part from a change of policy, or you know, like a policy that's going to say. Okay, every new building that's going to go up is going to have a green roof, or every new um, building that's going to be built needs to have some kind of designated area for uh, park space or for like some kind of vegetated area, you know, outside of it. And it's interesting because we're actually seeing this in European cities. So laws are being implemented yeah. that are enforcing, you know, exactly that. Every new building that goes up has to have. A green it. That makes it a lot easier, right? Like because you're sort of enforcing it, and you don't have to worry about like, oh, are people going to put it up? You know, because of the, I don't know, just the uh, benefits for nature that it has, or for the city that it has, or the goodness of their hearts, or because of some kind of tax break. Yeah. Um, I really think those things are nice, but I think that what you need is sort of a shift in yeah. policy that's going to really enforce these things. But I definitely, I mean, I like imagining New York City or a lot of cities yeah. in a way that's different than what I see today. And I think that integrating something like green infrastructure into our existing, you know, like system is, um, yeah, our city system, city city, yeah. is, um, it's a nice idea and it has, one of the things I didn't touch on is that it has a lot of co-benefits. Okay. It just makes it a nicer place for us to live. Yeah.